Hi everyone, welcome back. It's uh, me, Amy, the nerdy, the nutty nerdy needle. That can be a mouthful to say, I have to say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm back for a mid-month review, catch-up, whatever. Um, I think at the end of the month I'm going to have so much to talk about. I said that I'll just do a small little snippet here and get the rest of it done for the end of the month because the plans for at the, the end of the month is do maybe a mini whip parade to kind of show what I've been doing and my finishes I've actually have a few finishes this year a lot more than I thought I did and um what else is there as I have a note to down here um the Christmas haul I do believe I'm getting a few because my husband got me some Polly Pockets he got me two packs and he basically said you're gonna need them so yeah I'm a little bit scared to see what I'm actually getting um, I do hope they didn't go too crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, what else? And the plans, obviously, for the new year. There's a couple of ideas that I have in mind. And one of them involves the sister-in-law. And we're still debating on... And I know what one I'm starting. But I'm still waiting to find out what she's starting. So hopefully I will have an idea. Because um, we're going down to them for Christmas this year. Um, so hopefully she'll have um, something for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Um, the last two weeks it's just basically been work 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 it's been um chaotic just getting ready i'm going to be working christmas eve found out during the week i'm like woo! it's going to be crazy we i know we have over 350 orders going out and those orders can consist of up to four or five cakes we're doing full dinners for people like you get your turkey um ham stuffing the makings of a dinner basically and they're going out as well so that's like one order <laughs> yeah I don't know I've I haven't done Christmas with them yet so this will be an experience for me <laughs> and uh, last night we got to see Santa we took baby girl down to um see him it was it was kind of like a little petting zoo so she got to see she got very excited when she saw the snake I don't know if I should be worried about that or not but as soon as like he was moving and everything it was really cool and she was just like oh they, like she kept going like ah ah she was brilliant and she lo loved the animals there was like gerbils and rabbits budgies um there was alpacas sheep um i think there was a goat oh the cool thing about the sheep was one of them was called sean and she loves sean the sheep the tv show obsessed with it it's a great little show and she will put an episode or two on every now and again they're only like eight minutes long or something and yeah she loves them and she got to see Santa and uh, she was a bit weary of him at the start wasn't you know too sure as I went into the room was like sussing him up it was hilarious but yeah she wouldn't go near him for the photos I had to hold her so um we were in the photo <laughs> but yeah it was lovely we had a great night and yeah, that was basically it. I've been just cross stitching like crazy the last couple of weeks or last two weeks, you could say. Um, I got what I thought was two finishes. Turns out it's only one. So I will explain about that. But we'll get on onto the cross stitch because that's why you're here. So my first finish is my dear. Yeah, this one was awesome. This is only like two and a half thousand stitches or so, nearly three. Um, I flew through this. I was really happy with that. So what I'm thinking about for this little fella is to make a little cushion out of them. Um, I was thinking kind of the whole like tartan um, backing. Um, I saw in the range, like I don't, material is absolutely crazy over here. And even getting it shipping is crazy and tartan can be expensive. But I found a lovely tartan pillowcase in the range. So I was thinking of using that one, because, you know, it's going to be a pillow, cushion, whatever, and just making a little border. It's not going to happen this year. Um, this will be, hopefully, an FFO, if I'm doing that right, um, for next year. But, yeah, I, was, I thought that would be a nice little finish for that little pillow. But, yeah, he was fun to do. Um, this was from, was it Dots and Spots on Etsy? I said, I'll link everything down below. And, yeah, got this one little finish. Very happy. And the next one, I thought was a finish. Turns out it's not. But it's up on my um, Instagram page. And I got a message from Tiny Modernist saying, are you going to be doing the backstitching? Turns out, I didn't know there was backstitching. But I finished, can I get him in room? Or in frame. My Christmas bell pull. But there's backstitching. 
didn't know that because the pattern was gifted to me for a birthday present um, and it just I just automatically put it into a pattern keeper and that was it so there's a bit of backstitching kind of in these little pieces here and up at the top and then the candy cane the bottle of milk and um, there's two little pieces here for Santa more candy cane and then down here with the present is like a little tie so I hate backstitching it, it's not me I just like to do my X's and I'm happy but when I was looking at the actual photo on the website it actually looks really nice with the backstitching so I'm thinking once we get I suppose our presents and all that kind of sorted on Christmas Eve we will or I will sit down and do the backstitching that is my plan for Christmas Eve is to completely finish this one with the backstitching so we will wait and see so yeah this is my nearly finished project I really thought I was done but no unfortunately not so my next one then was um this is again um Suki um brown eyed stitcher um enabled me uh she did a few patterns from this shop um lucian arts i think it's called and i subscribed to their um mailing list and she gave out a free pattern for december and i fell in love with it and as soon as i got it i got all the well i just got the ada that i'm using i have a roll of ada and i was just like that's perfect and it's a nice small pattern smallish I don't know how many, oh, about 12,000 stitches, I think. And what am I trying to say? <laughs> I just kitted it up that day. I, I have a bucket load of black and I said, we'll just start with the black and we'll go from there. And this is it. How cute is he? It's Rudolph Peking. The Peking, I think it's called. So, And this was a free pattern. I mean, how cool is this? She has a, a grumpy cat kind of stained glass one. I'm hoping that's on my Christmas list. But yeah, I finished the border today, or just this part. There's like two extra pieces now. I'll put the full picture up of what it um, will look like. But yeah, my plan I think for this little fella is to finish the black. Uh, I have about a thousand more stitches to do, so doable. And then there's a couple of more stitches, kind of smaller ones that I'll maybe do three um colors of the less ones and then i'll go back to one of the bigger colors and then go back to the smaller ones and just go back and forth that way that i'm not doing all the big ones all at once and you know it'd be nice and of course black is like the main color for nearly every project that i'm doing but yeah how cool is he i'm like obsessed i love it um so yeah i say he might he might be done for the new year we'll see how we go i'm just like i flew through this like the first day um that i did this fella i did like six percent just flew absolutely love it. it was so easy to follow and yeah brilliant so i'll be doing him now again now later on as so i have a few plans for the afternoon so as I say, baby girls at the childminder i've got a day off um so yeah so much to do <laughs> and so i'm doing the video as well um so we'll get on to the haul then um next so actually we'll do we'll do my prize I won a little prize. How? I don't know. Um, last week, sitting down, um, doing my cross stitch, watching a bit of floss tube, I was watching crisscross, and next minute, he announces that I won a little prize. So it's a small little um, kit with, well, like, I'll put the photo up if I can actually get one. And I just thought it was cute, just something small, you know, be a nice little ornament that I can put on the tree or have it hanging up in, in between my elves or something. And yeah, I just said, I'd enter. And next minute, I won. <laughs> Never in a million years. Like I'm sitting down and I'm like, did he just say my name? And I threw a wine back. It's like, yes, he did. He did. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm still like mind blown about that. <laughs> but yeah, I said, go check him out anyway. That's, he's hilarious. Um... But yeah, so that, I, I won that. Weird. Anyway, on to the haul. So, Rudolph, you saw, um, was it the Lucian Art, I think? I'm, I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But again, I'll link everyone down below. And then I got the freebie from um, Hade. Did you see it? It is absolutely 
gorgeous. I'm like, I fell in love with it. I, it's bloody huge though, massive. It's going to take a couple of years definitely to do that. But um, yeah, I might try and maybe kit that out maybe next year, if not the year after. It'll all depend on, I suppose, Christmas stuff. But yeah, I just fell in love with it. And I'm like, yeah, this is my, and doing the whole thing. Because a lot of the freebies, I don't know, I know, I get <laughs> I do a bit of I want to do a bit of cropping but for this one no because it'll just take away from it and I think it's just perfect the way it is um so yeah that was that one then sister-in-law was over on Saturday and she was telling me about what, what's it called contemporary crafts uh, I'm hoping saying that um some pattern designs that I kind of liked when she was buying stuff I think during the summertime um she saw them and the lady, Alison Friend, um, is leaving the um, that site. So some of her patterns are going as well. well. All of her patterns are going. So I decided that I had to get them. <laughs> so I ended up getting Party Time. As I put them all up here. Party Time. Jam Liquor. And Custard Cream Dream. I mean, how cute are these little fellas? I just couldn't say no. I, they're about 30,000 stitches, I think, each. I'll have to double check that again. But, oh my God, they're just adorable. And it, it's the custard cream one. Like, I love custard creams. And just it's just adorable. So, yeah, I couldn't say no. I had to buy it. So, sister-in-law's fault. Yeah. Shouldn't be allowed to do things like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's it. I thought I'd be talking a lot more. Turns out it's not. So it's gonna, yeah, I think the next video is definitely going to be um, a little longer. Um, but my plan now, as I say, for the rest of the month is a little bit more Rudolph. Um, the back stitching. I mean, back stitching. And I'm thinking maybe taking one or two of the Modern Frog stuff out that I started last month, I think it was. And because there's one or two that I just really enjoyed stitching that I know be nice and light. You don't really have to think about them. They'd be just perfect opportunities to start them. And then, yeah, that's the plan. As I said, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Because, you know, Christmas is just chaotic. Um, but good chaotic, I find. So, yeah, we're just going to be... Yeah, next next few days I'm working. Then we're visiting families for the next two days. Um, because I have to do everything on those two days. Because I can't do them on Christmas Eve. Um, so as they work in Christmas Eve, they get to, I suppose, relax, take it easy, Christmas Day, help the in-laws out with, I suppose, preparing dinner. And then St. Stephen's Day for us, we'll be visiting my parents. And I, yeah, I'm going to assume I'm going to be back to work on the Wednesday. So yeah, just have to wait and see. But yeah, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, we'll, prob we'll see you um, after the New Year. So... Happy Christmas, Happy New Year, have a fabulous time. Um, as I say, don't eat too much turkey. <laughs> I say, I know I will be. <laughs> so I say, enjoy the rest of the week and we'll talk to you in the new year. I say, bye for now.